Fabrizio Romano, the king of transfers, the Mr. Here We Go himself, has been speaking about Tottenham Hotspur and some potential transfers. And also, I'd like to point out, before I get into this, Fabrizio Romano rarely speaks on Tottenham. He's had a few exclusives, but... You know, during the off-season, that sounds very American, but during this time of the season, you know, he doesn't really mention Tottenham too much. He's not on the priority list. You know, with Fabio Paratici's signings, he was quite all over it. But when he does talk about Tottenham, we have to react to it. So today, I'll be asking the question, is Fabrizio Romano right about Tottenham Hotspur? So Romano appeared on JD Football's YouTube channel with the one and only Expressions oozing. Obviously a massive Tottenham fan and, you know, Expressions had to get in there early and ask Fabrizio himself, you know, what's going on with Tottenham in the summer? You, you know, fans are a bit up in the air at the moment with they don't know what we're going to do in the summer and what the transfer activity is going to be. I mean, I'm quite clueless at the moment when it comes to transfers. I'm not really sure what I want. We know... Tottenham are going out their way for a number of positions, which Fabrizio mentions, but it's still not clear, you know, not many names, it's quite a lot of paper rumours, but I'm sure as we get to the summer transfer window, it will be all made a lot clearer. So as I said, Expressions Oozing got a question in early and asked him about a certain position where Tottenham want to strengthen in the summer. That kind of player is the priority for Tottenham, so I see them going for that kind of winger quality player to help also in terms of goals and assists and then a midfielder i see tottenham signing an important midfielder in the summer transfer window but a really important one i think they want to add something special in that position they already signed a special talent because this guy lucas bergval yep. uh, they ejected move from barcelona trust me this is a special talent for present and future and congratulations mm -hmm. to tottenham because the boy was 90 percent close to Barca and they've been able to change the situation in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the Tottenham want to do something else. I see Pierre Hoiberg leaving the club in the yeah. summer transfer window. So that is a really concrete possibility. And so Tottenham will add one more midfielder. I yeah. don't see them going and signing a player for 100 million pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. The idea is to sign two, three players in mm -hmm. different positions to keep investing like this. And honestly, they did a great job last summer. They did a great job in the last two, three years. But mm -hmm. I'm sure they want to continue in that kind of direction because also, this is also the idea of the market. Andre wants this kind of market. Mm. And you see when, hold on, hold on. You see when you said a special player in the midfield, like a special player, like obviously this excites me. Do you know what I mean? If we end up signing someone yeah. like Conor Gallagher, yeah, I'm unfollowing you on Twitter, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now, isn't it? I'll unfollow you, bro. It might even block you. Do you know what I mean? If, it, if it's Conor good, Gallagher. He's a good brother, player. Listen, bro, we had Harry Winks and Oliver Skip, innit? Yeah, we don't need... He's yeah, all right. But, he's good, know, innit? But, but, like, we I need... I think Conor Gallagher is one of the most underrated midfielders around. Honestly, the reaction from Expressions was cracking me up when I watched this video. But, yeah, he got that good question in and it's the one that is on Spurs fans lips a midfielder i'm going to repeat the quote of what he said because obviously there was a lot of expression reaction in there it says fabrizio romano on spurs's chances of signing a midfielder this summer i see tottenham signing an important midfielder in the summer a really important one i mean repetitive quite there uh, i think they want to add something special in that position so it's quite interesting you know no names are mentioned i mean he does fabrizio talk about our need for a winger he mentions rafinha at barcelona and pedro neto i've done videos on them before but yeah this midfielder there's a lot of question marks over the midfielder because if you look at spurs's current i was gonna say roster i'm sounding very american today but the squad in the midfield area you know, we've got some good players. You know, I'm thinking James Madison, Papa Mata Saar, Rodrigo Bentancourt, and Eve Basuma. But you've got players who are on the fringes and also looking like going. I'm thinking Pierre-Emil Hoybier, Giovanni Lo Celso, and Oliver Skip. So there'll probably be a bit of a shake-up when it comes to Tottenham's midfield. And knowing what sort of player we need in that midfield. You know, Fabrizio mentioned special players. Basuma's been questioned a lot recently for Tottenham. So, will that be a six, a player who can maybe handle that position a bit better? I mean, I'm quite a fan of Basuma and think he can replicate the form he showed earlier on in the season. But some, you know, fans are right to question him. And, you know, sometimes, you know, after the Luton red card, after the Nottingham Forest red card, you know, his discipline was called into question, which is, you know, I was one of the, play uh, one of the fans who called him out as well for that. But... 
There's also questions about would this player be an eight? You know, we've seen Madison, um, you know, has faced his injuries. Saw had injuries, went off to AFCON as well. Rodrigo Bensoncourt has had his injuries. So there is, you know, scope for players to be signed in that position. But the names that are being touted at the moment is obviously Conor Gallagher. That one doesn't seem to be going away. Chelsea would sell at the right price for FFP. You know, there was Edison at Atalanta. Jacob Ramsey was touted a little while ago. But none of these players are really personally ticking my box of who I expect in that position. You know, when it comes to our midfielders, they're all unique in their own way. You know, James Madison's a creator. Rodrigo Bentancur sort of sets the pace and the tone of the football. Basuma is breaking it up and more defensive. And then you have the likes of uh, Papa Matasso, who's a bit more box-to-box. -box. You know, Hoybier is just, you know, your old-fashioned um, defensive midfielder. Ollie skips a bit like, what does he do? And, uh, you know, Giovanni La Celso again. But it, it's interesting because, you know, I'm recording this video right now, reacting to this news and giving my interpretation of it. But I'm really not sure what player we want. You know, winger may be more... Easy to identify, you know, I'm thinking um, Johan Bakayoko at PSV would be a good shout for a winger. You know, they're, they're, There's loads of names there, but with midfielders looking at the current market, you know, seeing Declan Rice go for 100 million in certain positions, it's hard to know where we're going to, you know, attack that signing. And it's going to be a priority, you know, what Fire Fabrizio is saying um, of its importance and they want a special player, Spurs... And who And really wants, you know, And has had some really, you know, you look back at Celtic, he had some really strong midfielders, you know, he had Hatate. They're, they're players who, are like And ball designed players, and so it's just knowing who could sort of fit that mould and who can play in that position. I mean, I've had a recent debates on Spurs podcast about Kulisevsky, could he drop into that position, and then we go out and get a stronger winger than we hoped for. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure where Tottenham are going to go down this avenue. There's a lot of possibility and a lot of scope that they can sign someone of a good calibre. But who will that be? I'm yet to make my mind up on who I want to see. You know, other players that have come to my mind after just reflecting on this video has been, you know, Morgan Gibbs-White. If Nottingham Forest get relegated, he could be an option. You know, Eberich Yeze. He could cost a pretty penny to get out of um, Crystal Palace. But I'm going to suggest one name. And he has been linked with some moves after having a very impressive season in the Championship. I think I've seen him linked with Newcastle and maybe some other teams. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm going to tout Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. And there's a couple of reasons for this. One, he's English, so that helps Tottenham's homegrown quota. And the season he's had, I mean, I'll get the stats on screen. In 36 appearances for Leicester, he scored 10 goals and 12 assists in the championship, which is absolutely sensational. He's versatile. He can play DM if he wants to. He can play centre mid. He can play attacking mid. He can play left mid if you really want to uh, have him there as well. I think he's been very consistent. He's the reason Leicester are having such a good season in the championship. He's been pivotal. And, you know... I remember a famous clip when I was working uh, at TalkSport Edge, which was part of TalkSport, where you, Gabby Abonahor, my good friend from TalkSport, was comparing Dewsbury Hall with Kovacic and saying who was better. I mean, I might as well roll this clip. Kovacic or Dewsbury Hall? I'm going to go Dewsbury Hall. I've watched him play a few times this season and he looks very, very good. So yeah, I mean, at the time it was quite sensationalist, you could say, but... He is becoming quite a good player, and for his age as well, I think he has the potential to maybe, you know, light up a Tottenham midfield. You know, 25, I think, is a good age, and under Ange, I think he could be very, very strong. And I think you could get him for quite a good price. I think, you know, depending on Leicester's situation with their FFP as well, they might want to, you know, get some more players off the books. So it would be interesting to see. So that's the name I'm going to tout out there. 
and not, I'm not going to sit on the fence. He is the player that I'd like to see Tottenham sign. But let me know in the comments down below who will be this special and important midfielder that Spurs sign in the summer. Let me know all your thoughts. Wingers as well. Let me know what wingers you want us to sign. All that sort of good stuff. But if you have enjoyed this video, why don't you hit the like button. Subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs. Also hit that notification bell because it will let you know when I've gone live. And also you can become a member. Link in the description down below. Latest podcast went live on Thursday. So go and check that out as well. But yeah. Until another episode, hope you're enjoying the international break. Come on, you Spurs. Looking forward to a return with Luton. See you guys soon. Bye.